This video is a Twitch stream that was not edited. Well, no, actually, it's just a re-recording of it because I botched the introduction. But it's so it's, anyway, it's gonna look like a Twitch stream. This is, welcome to my vision of World of Warcraft Classic Plus. The design direction of my vision of Classic Plus is substantially different from that of Retail WoW Surf Shadowlands and the private servers T Vanilla Plus and Turtle WoW. This is partially because it stands to fix Vanilla WoW's many problems first, flesh out the game and polish it second, and add new content third. This is part of a playlist of videos. Check this video's description for a link to the playlist. The document displayed is my vision of Classic Plus. And the document's version number is 1.5.15. All versions of the document are based upon patch 1.12.2 of WoW. If you just want to know about the general design direction of my vision classic plus before you otherwise look into this, then watch the introductory video in this playlist or view the document yourself and look at the list of major features. The link to the document is in my channel's about page. That and I do not have a team of people who are however working with me to make an actual private server out of this. This is all pure design thus far. All text, just plain text, and it ain't done yet. These display changes made to use Scar the Scarlet Monastery Dungeons and Scalamence and Stratholme. Uh, where do I write that in the script? Do not concern what drops from the dungeons, nor thanks as an NPC hit points, NPC damage, or NPC pathfinding, nor some quest changes. Those are covered in different parts of this document that I will be covering in different videos. However, it is so worth briefly imagining that elite NPCs in general, and not just in dungeons, are going to hit a lot harder and have a lot more hit points. And they will be able to run up 180 degree slopes, so walls, to chase players around without evade bugging. So it's worth mentioning that almost every damage in your crowd controlling AoE spell, item, and buff that is available to players was nerfed to have a hard target cap, a la Thunderclap, Whirlwind, and War Stomp, of 6 targets per spellcast or tick. Furthermore, all elite mobs in the game are being buffed so that movement speed slows have a lesser effect against them, by which I do not mean a lower duration or chance to resist the debuffs. I mean, like, I forget the exact formula, but 60% slow is going to turn into a 40% slow or something like that. Anyway, because of these changes and other changes, you will not be able to, su to successfully do any spell cleave or melee cleave runs, and unless you sorely outlevel the dungeon, you're not going to be able to AoE farm it either. You should expect to have to actually use marks in dungeons, and for the tanks to actually use a shield if he is not a druid. Now then, onto the changes made to Scarlet Monastery, Scalamance, and Strathol, beginning with the Scarlet Monastery. These Scarlet Monastery members in the Tatar Monastery Graveyard will all have their levels increased by one. The humanoids, of course. Is that what that means? Causing them to all be subject to the full health and damage boost mentioned in section number 4.0.3, sweeping NPC changes. And more importantly, be, making it be harder to spell cleave or melee cleave the dungeon. Blood Mage Sound does well drop a quest starting item that has to do with the Scourge. The quest reward from it will be a choice of green items, and said quests will be available to both the Alliance and the Horde. This will cause more people, and especially allies, to do Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Scarlet Monks will be replaced with new elite Scarlet Crusade mobs of the same levels that are otherwise indeterminate, as part of retconning Pandaren, and by extension, monks out of existence. Back in the early 2000s, Chen Stormstat's very existence was a joke, and in this Classic Plus, it's going to be the same thing as it was in Warcraft 3. A joke. Scarlet Beast Maximus will be renamed to Scarlet Hound Trainers because, thematically, who could have trained them to be hunters? Now they, and still Lokskin and Beardy's Grebnar, are just Hound Masters. So the Scarlet Be Beast Masters are still going to be called Hound Trainers. Hounds! Which means wolves, hyenas, dark hounds, and demon dogs. Excuse me. Wolves, hyenas, and dark hounds, aka demon dogs, and fell hunters in this case. That's what the hound and hound master means. Hounds are easier to figure out how to tame than other beasts are, but they otherwise take just as much. You know, that's part of the match is actually updated. Thematically, hounds. Are wolves, hyenas, dark hounds, aka demon dogs, and fell hunters. And rather than taming them by friending them, hound ma like hunters do, hound masters tame their hounds by 
intimidating and slash or beating them into submission. So yeah, hand masters are not exactly knights of animals. More changes will be made to the Scarlet Monster to prevent the spell cleaving and mail cleaving to the dungeon, but I haven't really gotten it. I haven't really gotten to it yet. Gotten around to it yet. Next up, Scarlet Man's changes. Scarlet Man's will be turned into the Oh, also Hound Master's gonna have multiple hounds at once. Hound Though Hound Masters can have multiple hounds at once. Yeah, Scarlet Man's changes. Scarlet Man's will be turned into a level 15 to 60 10 man raid. The spell called Dark Whispers, casted by Valve Tutors, which increases the target's shadow spell damage by 35 for 10 minutes, will have its duration reduced to 3 minutes to prevent it from being used to make 40 man raids easier. The water scene from the balcony, the, you know, the one ne right next to Kirtos, the Herald's room, in Kirtos, the Herald's room, that balcony. The water scene from that balcony will be expanded upon on the right side so that it doesn't just cut off at the right side and then just make it look like it's an unfinished game. Cormac will be renamed to have an apostrophe mark in the middle of his name because that's the proper nomenclature for 200 ogre names. Strathholm changes. Strathholm, both sides, will be turned into a level 58 to 60 10 man raid. So we'll be in the middle of Strathholm, where we fight the uh, postmaster. Crimson and a few rare spawns. Anyway, Crimson Monks will be replaced with new elite Scarlet Crusade mobs of the same levels are otherwise need to determine it. Also, as part of Retcon Pierre and Iron and by extension, Monks, out of existence. The AoE abilities known by Scarlet Battle Mages are going to be limited to effect up at six targets per spell cast, enemies per spell cast, in case it could otherwise somehow be used for some sort of partial spell cleave run. They might be they're I'm probably going to change them to hit harder as compensation for that, however. It will be ensured that Cannon Master Willie's ads deal much more damage than it had before. Lest Wind Wall to them be too good for that fight. Plague Ghoul's Ghoul Plague will be an instant range attack. 5 second cooldown, 100 yard range. That deals damage and affects you with the disease. Which will reduce your movement speed by 15% more than it had before, additively. This will make it harder, if not impossible, for mages to solve dozens of mobs at Monson and Strathholm, and therefore... Make a fuck ton of money all by themselves. That's one of the many problems that WoW has in vanilla. It's too easy for people to make money by, without competing for other players with that sort of income. No, the auction house does not count by special exception. Supply crates will not be disarmable anymore. As a result, players who are not rogues, and as well as rogues, will not be able to get just within the crate trap proximity and then see if a disarmed trap thing comes up in its tooltip in order to tell the player whether or not it's a real supply crate without actually tripping it. This that kind of trap doesn't quite make sense anyway. And finally, the gates that the Milo and Sun Dead come from after killing Ramstein the Gorger will stay open after the door opens, which will offer an alternative way for the players to reach Nax Ramis. I guess it's a portal to Nax Ramis in there somewhere. Yeah, and that's all the changes I got so far for Scarlet Monster, Scarlet Mix, and Strap Home. Thanks for watching.